The International Criminal Court has issued arrest warrants for Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi and two of his confidants for crimes against humanity. Gaddafi is wanted for orchestrating the killing, injuring, arrest and imprisonment of hundreds of civilians during the first 12 days of an uprising to topple him from power after more than four decades and for trying to cover up the alleged crimes. Gaddafi becomes only the second sitting head of state indicted by the ICC in the court's nine-year history. Sudanese President Omar al-Bashir was indicted in 2009. In addition to Gaddafi, arrest warrants were issued for his second eldest son, Saif al-Islam, and his intelligence chief, Abdullah Sanusi. Meanwhile, the Independent of London reports human rights organizations are beginning to cast doubt on some of the claims of atrocities committed by forces loyal to Gaddafi that were used to justify NATO's war in Libya. Gaddafi's regime was accused of ordering mass rapes, using foreign mercenaries and employing helicopters against civilian protesters. An investigation by Amnesty International has failed to find evidence for any of these human rights violations. The Independent of London also found indications that, on several occasions, the rebels in Benghazi appeared to have knowingly made false claims or manufactured evidence. Meanwhile, Republican Congress member Mike Turner of Ohio has revealed NATO commander U.S. Admiral Samuel Locklear has confirmed to him that the U.S. and NATO forces are actively trying to assassinate Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi in defiance of the U.N. authorization. Locklear also reportedly told Turner NATO is considering sending in ground troops to Libya.